hydraulics. We're using the TL9 stabilizer. I'm just gonna show you real fast what we're getting for lift. We're not putting cribbing in because that's not the, the focus of the operation here. The operation here is just to show you the lift, the uh, capabilities of the TL9 in conjunction with uh, Hurst. Keep in mind, these are universal models. They haven't been constructed specifically for Hurst, so the tolerances will be much, much better when it's constructed for a specific tool. All right, so essentially, you can see the setup. Bottom jaw goes under the roll pin here. We bring it in. Now we use the tool to steer. We steer where we want to be. Once we get our position, our desired lift spot, we just go ahead and begin our lift. Okay. okay, now at this point, at this point, we are starting to make contact with the roll pin, right? So as we continue, as we continue up, the roll pin moves. Okay? When the roll pin is at the top of the lift, like it is now, the roll pin puts pressure on the tip, which puts pressure into the slot and locks the tool in place. All right? As you can see, we don't have any cribbing down. We threw a wheel chop down. We have no cribbing down. Your stability side to side front to back, and I'm, I'm hitting this thing, I'm not, I'm not playing games here, and uh, you know, you go side to side, and this is with no cribbing in place whatsoever, obviously, obviously, standard rule of extrication, lift an inch, crib an inch, that's what we do, uh, this is strictly for demonstration purposes.